Hammers up everyone, Towley here. We're gonna be talking Diablo 4. It's the hot topic in gaming right now. We just finished the early access beta. Um, and I kind of want to give you guys uh, my opinion on Diablo 4 from a kind of like a more casual standpoint. Someone who's really not been too involved. Sorry, I just finished working out and I'm nasally and stuff. And you're probably going to get annoyed at me going <laughs> in the video. But I'll try my best to not to hold it off. I'll let the mucus go down my nose. No problem. I'll do that for you. Diablo in general. Never played one or two. Did the Diablo 2 Resurrected uh, technical alpha for like a couple of hours when it launched on Twitch. Did Diablo 3. If anyone remembers the Diablo 3 <laughs> launch on my stream, it was our biggest stream at that point, which was like 2012 or something like that on uh, and we were just sitting at an error 37 screen for nine hours, but we had like 12,000 people watching. We were doing like collector's edition giveaways. It was wild at that time. You know, that was like the wild, wild west Twitch. Now, I did log in to Diablo three over the years, maybe a couple of times just to do a couple of Paragon levels with some friends, having some shots, drinking at night. And um, I think when I started season 28, the latest season with the altar, had 240 Paragon points over the course of like 10 years. That's my experience in Diablo. So basically, no. I know the story. I followed the lore. I've read some books. Other than that, that's what I got. So just letting you know what the expectations are for this video on my knowledge of Diablo 4. Now, I, I started the Diablo 4 uh, early beta. And man, I'm blown away because I've I've played the that Diablo 2 resurrected a little. Diablo 3. It is insane. Whatever engine they are using for Diablo 4, it is amazing. I mean, it might be like an evolved version the Diablo 3 engine because I know even with World of Warcraft if you compare the engine that started in vanilla to the engine we have today it's so different and way more improved for today's uh modern computers graphics or whatever um but whatever the game looks gorgeous uh the scenery when you're walking through the grass on the outside like everything's swaying and moving the way it's supposed to even your armor that we like when you attack enemies the blood kind of splatters on certain parts of your body depending on what angle you're hitting the enemy at it, they just did such a great job visually. Like, the goal from BlizzCon for them was to make this, like, gory, gothic, dark Diablo. And that's what they did. I mean, if anyone's seen the chapel scene uh, <laughs> it, during this beta, it's uh, it blew me away. I was like, God damn, man. <laughs> I was like, we're, we're going on a trip in this game. Uh, the fluidity of the character movements is great. I love my Barb, even though Barb is a little bit on the underpowered side. But, I mean, once I got... Full bleed spec, triple whirlwind legendaries, triple rend uh, and bleed legendaries. I felt pretty good. Um, also, the the ancients ability where you summon the three other barbs that do different things. That thing just nukes. My, some sometimes my strategy was if I couldn't defeat an enemy, I would just run around in circles until my ancients came back up, then popped it and it would die. A valid strategy for the way barb was playing. But by the end of my experience, my barb was pretty strong. I love the weapon system with the barb, the arsenal system where you can assign certain weapons and certain abilities, depending on what that ability does. I know I'm going all over the place here, but yeah, but like I said, visually, the game is beautiful. Now, one thing I was a little disappointed in was how people said that the game was a lot more open world, seamless, whatever. I understand that, that you can go from like one zone to another without having to like, you know, load from a, a waypoint or whatever. But I was expecting like, you know, me walking around everywhere. I wanted even outside the boundaries of like, you know, when you look at the map and you see this is the path you're taking. I just want to go into the woods and, you know, mine ore and herb or something, but you can't do that. Uh, the world boss was pretty cool. Nothing really spectacular. Um, it was it was really awesome to see 12 people on the same screen uh, in Diablo 4 killing a world boss like the camera pans out and then you're just there waiting and it's it's pretty good. The transmogging system. Holy shit. If you love mogging in this game. My God, I was salvaging whatever I could, even if it was a goddamn upgrade. I was salvaging legend like right here. I'm just salvaging. I'm just salvaging. You see on the left side of the screen. Well, not on that time. I think before one, uh, it would say, you know, save to your transmog. So the wardrobe system was really good. But yeah, overall, all the systems in Diablo 4 were very easy to follow. Um, if, you, if I looked at my stat window, I recognized a majority of the stats and I understood which ones I needed for my build, like, you know, damage over time. Um, was one that I really was farming a lot of. But as you see here, this is the transmog window. It is just leagues above Diablo 3. I, I must have swapped outfits God knows how many times. I think I spent maybe a couple hours just figuring out different transmogs uh, for uh, my barb. But I played Sorcerer. Sorcerer was pretty cool too. Um, they're just, they just nuke everything. They, they just nuke everything. I don't know. I'm not really going to talk too much about tuning and stuff like that. But, you know, this is just me giving you just like a casual Diablo player's, uh, you know, perspective. 
I also don't do hardcore. I might try hardcore at launch just to see how it is. Maybe on a character that I don't plan on really investing into. It's like, you know what? Let's just start a hardcore character and see how far we get. But uh, yeah, Diablo 4 is gorgeous. It's beautiful. It plays well. I tried the controller, my PS5 controller connected to the uh, computer. Uh, controller felt really good too. Very responsive, very easy to move to. Uh, the leaping and, and charging got takes a little getting used to on a controller, uh, especially when playing a barb. But I had fun doing that. What else can we say about Diablo 4? But yeah, I mean, I see a lot of people on social media. Now, mind you, I don't want to ruffle any feathers here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I see a lot of like, you know, the more hardcore players like POE players chiming in saying how, you know, well, you know, so far I'm not really too happy with the itemization. Boring and you know, the, you know, the, we don't know anything about the end game. And so far, it seems really casual. And I'm over here like, bro, I'm down with that. I'm down with casual, man. I don't mind. Like the way I just played right now without doing any kind of like nightmare riffs or whatever they're called at end game. I'm all right with it. I, I think it's perfectly fine. I, I just had a great time playing. And I think visually the game appealed to me so much from every aspect. I said to myself, you know what? Uh, I think Diablo is now going to be a regular part of my gaming uh, experience. Uh, on here on YouTube and TikTok and Twitch. You know, every time there's a new season, I plan on being there. And I've also been getting to other action RPGs too. Like I'm getting back into PoE. Last Epoch, I just played for a couple of weekends. Um, I'm having a great time. And I think Diablo 4 is a good time. Um, I've, I've enjoyed every second that I've played. And I played a lot. I think I played like, man, I think I got like 40, 50, 60 hours or something like that. I might have only slept a couple of hours this whole entire weekend just trying to. Just trying to like level up my barbs uh certain stats or whatnot but let me know what you guys think about diablo 4 too casual we don't know too much yet i know there's supposed to be a blog post coming out discussing the end game at some point in the future after the complete beta is over um and now it's more like what are we gonna do for the next two months <laughs> that's what all we're all trying to figure out i guess 1007 comes out this week that's a plus and then 10 1 comes out whenever it comes out but if you guys want to see more Diablo content, let me know. I mean, I can make a video even going over the build that I use that we can compare builds. Obviously, I'm not a meta kind of player, but I, I had a really good time in Diablo 4 just going over several different builds. Like I had like a frenzy upheaval build uh, right before the beta ended. I was trying to work on like a rallying cry, uh, war cry build, like a, like a, like a, you know, like a shout build. But I didn't get to it, though. But yeah, b the bleed one was definitely my favorite. It was easiest to to handle um but yeah that's my thoughts on diablo 4 man i think it's gonna be a great game um the story too is really good man the story is so good and this is the first act and all the stuff that you could do in um, before i end the video all the stuff you could do with just act one was insane there was like 25 dungeons there was like 35 side quests there's all these altars of lilith to collect to gain more powers right now we're looking at all the codex of powers these are all the legendaries you can uh, legendary, I guess, affixes or codexes you can farm in a game to apply to your gear. And there was just so much because you, you can actually play on your barbarian and start farming legendary codexes for your other classes. So what I was doing in the beta uh, up until yesterday was I was just farming like druid and necromancer legendaries in preparation for next weekend's uh, open beta, which is going to be crazy. That means anyone in the world could play. Brace your assholes, boys and girls. It's going to get it's going to get nuts next week. But um. But yeah, like just the sheer amount of like content, it kind of feels like Lost Ark. You know how Lost Ark has that little system where you can like do, do the whole completionism of every zone. And as you complete all the stuff in every zone, you actually unlock more experience, more gold, more skill points, more potions uh, upgrades or whatever. So yeah, it, 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 everything just felt right. It, it's the kind of like the right balance between an action RPG and what could be in the future an action MMORPG. Because I don't think Diablo 4 is quite there yet. Yeah, I can see up to 12 people in my zone, I can see 12 people at a world boss. But that's about it. So I'm not sure if we're going to put it in the A MMO RPG category just yet. I say we have to give it some time. Let it simmer. Let's get through a few seasons at launch and then see where they take it. Because if they start doing like Lost Ark Legion style raids with up to eight players and stuff like that, it can get pretty crazy. But I know um, the game, I believe it was the game director mentioned that he kind of wants to keep the Diablo feel to it where you know, you are part of the, you know, the sanctuary and they don't want like 80 people on the screen at the same time. So we'll see what happens. <sighs> I got a shower. I'm dirty as fuck from this workout. I'll see you guys on the stream. Um, I might make another video just going over my build. I'll use that uh, that calculator website that everyone's using and then uh, we'll we'll have fun with that. But thank you for watching. Um, hopefully this casual Diablo player perspective 
might have given you some hope to play Diablo and say, hey, you know what? I'm, I'm casual too. I don't have to be a meta slave, meta hardcore, follow the giga meta from every streamer and every content creator to be good at this game. Um, if I think if you enjoy Diablo 3, you're going to enjoy Diablo 4, and you're going to be amazed at how good this game plays and how amazing it looks and how great the engine is. Um, other than that, peace out. I'll see you guys in the next video.